Hi y'all. Today I'm going to do a little styling video. We're going to talk about styling using brooches. This was a topic that was suggested by Ruth. Hi Ruth, thank you for the suggestion. I really appreciate it. I know that a lot of people have brooches that they've purchased from estate sales or online from stores like mine, or even you've inherited them from a family member and you aren't entirely sure if they fit your look or how to wear them or how to style them. So I'm going to do a few suggestions for ways to style brooches and use them with daily wear as well as maybe ways that you wouldn't wear them all of the time, but suggestions for incorporating them into your wardrobe. These, as always, may not be style suggestions that you love or that you yourself would incorporate, but they are ways that I myself have worn them in the past or ways that I currently wear brooches. I'm going to start with um, my outfit today. I'm wearing uh, a shirt from my personal collection so that I feel okay poking a lot of holes in it with brooches. So that's one of the first things you want to consider when you're adding brooches to an outfit, especially if you're wearing them in a traditional way where you stick them through the fabric. Uh, are you comfortable with small pinholes in the item that you're adding the brooch to? So say it's a 1930s dress that's in immaculate condition. You may not necessarily want to add a brooch and add pinholes to it. So I would definitely urge you to consider the fabric type, the fabric quality, and whether or not you're comfortable adding those holes to that item. I personally don't wear brooches with silk because silk tends to show those holes quite a bit. Whereas something like this, this is just a nice 1970s, kind of a little bit of a Western style cotton blouse. And cotton can really handle holes like this pretty well. Like they don't show a lot. It's not going to damage the material in some way that means you can't ever wear it again. We're going to start with just the traditional way of adding it to a blouse. You can just add a brooch to any blouse. This isn't maybe a style that's as modern as other styles. So if you're wanting to go for a more modern look, I'm going to suggest a few ways to incorporate your brooches in modern ways. This is definitely more of a classic vintage style, just adding it to a blouse. I like to also cluster brooches. I think that that's a cute way of adding a collection of brooches and I think it looks a little bit more modern. It's kind of fun. You can do a collection of brooches that are all the same style, same era, or you can just really mix it up. So the brooch that I'm wearing right now is actually an antique. It's a cluster of grapes. I love grape brooches. There's a scene in Ratched where Sarah Paulson's character as Ratched where it's this beautiful grape brooch that's like a cluster brooch with beads hanging down and I went on kind of um kind of went on a hunt to try to find a brooch like that after that because I was very excited to see that I love that again that's definitely more of a a vintage look that she was going for 1940s 1950s there um but I think it was a really cute brooch and I'm going to keep looking for one. Anyways, I bought a ton of great brooches as a result of watching Ratchet. So here I've done a little cluster of brooches and I think that that's like a good way to show off a little collection. I think it looks really cute. I think it's eye catching. You can do, I've done a bunch of fruit brooches. I collect fruit jewelry. I'm always looking for cute little strawberry grapes. I was doing this without looking in the mirror. so. They're not evenly spaced. I think you can also add more modern pins and brooches to a cluster group like this. So I've added a, a little art pin from the artist Brett Douglas Hunter to my brooch cluster there. So another type of brooch that I really adore and I love finding are cameo brooches. I love finding ones that are a little different you definitely find carved shell cameo brooches often, but this one's different because it is just entirely in gold. I don't see that very much, so I was excited to find this one. I think this is a mid-century piece. I think cameos are some of the cutest brooches you could find, but I really love adding them as almost um, 
a very Victorian style piece at the top of a blouse like this. So I think that that's a good way to wear like a bigger brooch, a round brooch, a cameo brooch like this. I also really love finding stick pins and stick pins are always going to be smaller like this and they're going to have the stick attached thus calling them stick pins and they usually have like a little closure at the bottom these are a great way to do a cluster brooch set as well because usually especially these tiny ones like this you'll find them in sets of twos or three sometimes four or five but these are super cute to just add to the collar. This is really hard to do without looking in the mirror. I'm going to do two of these on my collar here. A lot of women's blouses don't have wide enough collars, which is why I selected this blouse today because it has a nice wide collar. So stick pins are a good way to use to add a little bit of collar element. You can stick them through a pocket. Another idea for your collar is adding two similar pins that you can do, they don't have to be matching brooches. They can be brooches and pins that are just a similar size. These two actually match and these are designed to be collar pins. But you can find two brooches that are similar in size and add those to your colors as well. Okay. So let's say that maybe adding them to your blouse isn't quite the look you want to go for and you want something a little more modern or you want to get a little more creative with it. Turn brooches into different pieces of jewelry. Now for, I'm going to make a choker here. It's a lovely little long brooch. I'm going to add it to this choker. This is just a portion of black velvet ribbon that I've cut off to fit my neck. A length of black velvet ribbon cut to fit my neck, tied in the back. I added a brooch to it and I've got a choker. This is a very Edwardian kind of look. Victorian maybe. You can also take a necklace with wider links and add a brooch through that and wear it that way hanging down. You can take a bracelet that has wide links to it and clip a brooch to that and make it into a bracelet. This is a little hack I'm sure you guys have noticed that I do when I'm doing shop photos. I always keep extra lengths of ribbon or fabric ties around to be used as belts. And you can turn a brooch into a statement belt by adding it to a length of fabric like that. You can also, if you have a skirt that will allow you to just clip to it, add a brooch just at the top of your skirt. Another style of brooch that you might encounter is like this, where it's a larger brooch and a smaller brooch attached with multiple chains or just one chain sometimes. This is called a chatelaine. Chatelaine? If I'm not pronouncing that correctly, please let me know in the comments. Nice, nice comments only. These are really cute. You can wear these as sort of like a sweater clip and clip it across the neckline of your sweater. Or this is my current favorite cloak, which, yeah, I have multiple cloaks. You would wear it like this. You can also make any two brooches that you have into this kind of thing, do a chatelaine by just adding chain to them. 
you could just flip the chain over the pin in the back as long as the chain is thin enough and fine enough that the clip can still close properly you can do it that way so these are two what I would consider to be fairly simple brooches that you can find anywhere I have several of these listed in my shop they're just good standard pieces you don't always need a big statement piece but you can I'm gonna get a little risque no need to message me to let me know that you zoomed in and could see my nipples you can add them to a scarf and again this is just one of my scarves so I feel comfortable poking holes in it Add it to a scarf to hold the scarf in place like that or a way that you see me wear scarves a lot in my personal styling videos it's tight around my neck like this and again much like the choker it's just about kind of adding brooches to pieces that you already have, getting creative with them. Add several brooches to a scarf like this. You can throw them onto a shawl. You can throw them onto a knit scarf that you're wearing. I like personally almost every coat that I have has several brooches added to it whether it be a modern coat or a vintage coat um, I have used brooches as earrings bracelets necklaces I have used them on belts I have used them on scarves more than anything though I do use them just added to a blouse to add a punch of color to add a little bit of something interesting to what would otherwise be maybe a kind of plain blouse so that's just a couple of ideas for styling brooches. I hope that you find ways to get creative with them, make it your own. The most important thing with all style, whether it be vintage style or modern style, or whether you're a person like me who mixes vintage and modern together, the most important thing of all is just to have fun with it. And I think that brooches are really a good way to add just a fun or funny little touch to an outfit. I hope that if you've never bought a brooch or tried a brooch on before, that you will give it a shot. Don't be afraid to try vintage styles out if you've never tried them before, especially things like brooches and scarves and vintage hats. I know that it can be a little intimidating when you look at older photos and look at the full outfits that the women would wear or look at the pinup style that some people do that I've I sometimes showcase in my outfits of the day but for a more modern look you can really add a brooch to anything you really don't have to limit yourself to a vintage or a pinup style but if you do choose to add them in a pinup or a vintage style there's so many different ways to use them as well thanks so. for taking time to watch the video let me know if there is another topic you'd like for me to discuss or another type of styling video you'd like for me to do I'm always interested in hearing about what you would like to hear about. There's so many things that I'm just so accustomed to as a person who has worn vintage style for so long that I don't stop and think that this might be something that people aren't comfortable with or that they've never played with or tried before. So it is actually really important that you give me that feedback. You let me know what you'd like to hear about. Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks for joining me. Bye y'all.